Hey everyone, Lee Pressgrave here with ADV Moto, and today we have the pleasure of installing the Leo Vinci LV1 Evo full system on our new Yamaha Tenere 700. With Yamaha's CP2 motor and cross-plane crank, this machine has the potential to make some sweet twin-cylinder thump. Unfortunately, the stock exhaust sounds a little muted and flappy. That's where our friends at Leo Vinci stepped in and sent us their full system. And let me tell you, it alleviated that issue and shaved eight pounds off the bike. The fit finish on the Leo Vinci system is top notch. Everything from the welds right down to the chosen hardware are really, really nice. We'll give everyone a chance to hear it, but first, let's go over the install. The full system install is fairly easy with basic tools and takes about an hour, depending on your experience level. If you're putting on just the exhaust canister, it's even faster and will take about half that time. All you need to do is remove the stock exhaust hanger and pipe clamp, slip on the new unit, replace the hardware, and you're good to go. The full system is a bit more complicated because it comes in four pieces. The stock header is a one-piece system, which is fairly easy to remove once the silencer and skid plate are off. You have four bolts at the exhaust ports and one mounting point under the bike. Don't forget, there's also an O2 sensor, which is wired along the frame and needs to be removed. Be careful about not touching the tip of the O2 sensor. Any grease or dirt can foul the sensor and cause bad readings. First, lay out your pieces so you know what you're working with. You have two headers, a Y pipe and a mid pipe. Loosely attach the exhaust port collars as shown, then use the provided springs to pull the headers into the collars. Attach the headers to the Y pipe and loosely mount it to the bottom of the exhaust hanger. Again, allow for some wiggle room by leaving the exhaust port nuts loose. Sliding on the mid pipe and clamp is easy. Be sure it is fully inserted, then attach the silencer to its hanger and clamp and you're almost done. Lastly, be sure to tighten every nut and screw to the recommended torque specs. We suggest starting at the header and moving your way back. Now we're almost ready to fire this bad boy up. We want to point out that the LV1 system comes with a removable quiet core that pops out with only one screw and makes a big difference in sound. Check it out. Hey, we're T7 freaks around here and here's my personal machine. We wanted to fire it up for you so you can hear what the stock system sounds like. So here we go. And here's our ADV Moto test mule with the Leo Vinci system installed. So we're gonna start it up and let you hear first what it sounds like with the quiet core out, and then we'll put the quiet core in and you can hear the difference it makes. So here we go. Oh yeah. Where'd I put that quiet core? You can hear how much quieter is it idle. The sound, man, that sweet sound. The T7 now sounds like a proper twin cylinder should. It bellows bark and bite with a bevy of sonic pleasure that's never harsh or strident. If you're worried about noise, leave the quiet core in place. At idle, it won't be much louder than stock, but gets more growl and snarl on the throttle. Remove the core for some of the best tuned, deep resonating pulses around. This thing flat out sounds amazing. Without putting it on the dyno, we can't say how the power delivery has changed definitively, but it feels like there's more torque everywhere in the rev range. Most of the benefits come from the improved exhaust note, looks, and saving over eight pounds on the bike, which is nice. The canister itself shaves five pounds off your bike and is less than 500 bucks. The header system saves another three pounds and is now under 400 bucks, which puts you at just under a grand for both. The only thing we'd like to see improved are the instructions or maybe a video explaining the header installation. All in all, the Leo Vinci LV1 system is a very nice upgrade to your Tenere 700 and we can't wait to get more saddle time. 
Hope we meet you on the road or at an upcoming rally. Thanks for tuning in and please be sure to subscribe to our channel and visit AdventureMotorcycle.com for some of the latest news, reviews, reports, and more. Until next time, ride safe, have fun.